Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about the Sephora Spring Savings event, which I am very excited about. I just get so excited for new makeup and this is really the time that I kind of allow myself to buy a lot of new products and test things out. If you do like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are not already. I am going to be doing a Sephora Savings event haul video. You'll definitely want to be sure you are subscribed or you can click on the bell notification and you'll be notified when that video goes live so that you don't miss it. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok and all of those social accounts. So yeah, everything will be linked in the description box below. I'll try to pin it as a comment and I might try to link some things through the YouTube shopping feature that'll pop up in the bottom of the screen. They only allow you to link 30 products though. So if you're looking for something and it's not there, it's probably in the description or the pinned comment. This video is going to be more so stuff that I really recommend to you guys that I've either rediscovered love for or that is fairly newer to me that I've been loving recently. I do have several things that are my tried and true. I wear them every single day and use them for years and those I'm going to call honorable mentions and I'm just going to link them in the description box as well. So underneath whatever category I'm talking about if there is a foundation that I've been using every single day that I've loved for years and still love and recommend I'm going to put it right under as an honorable mention. So definitely be sure to check those out. So I'm going to be going through everything in the way that I do my makeup. So we are going to start off with primers. As for primers, I wanted to mention the Iconic London Velvet Smooth Pore Refining Primer. This one is a fairly newer purchase and I really love the finish that it gives to the skin. I would say this is a definitely more hydrating, almost like, I don't want to say oily, but it definitely has like that more oily kind of texture to it rather than that silicone kind of texture. So I do think it works great for dry skin. I do have dry skin, so I think this is a great product for me and I've really been liking it. It definitely smooths your skin like no other. A similar primer that I also love is by Kali Ray and this is the So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. This one I had been using every single day before I got this. I really like it as well. Honestly, if I had to choose between them, I think I might choose the Kali Ray. It's just really good and if you are into clean beauty, this is going to be the obvious choice for you. I don't know if you'll be able to tell but this is the Iconic London here and then and this is the Cali Ray. The Iconic London, I don't know if you can tell what I mean, but it's honestly has a little bit of an oil base to me. So yeah, I don't know if you're gonna love this if you are oily, but if you are a dry skin girly or a combo skin and you want almost like a dewy finish, but also something that's blurring, this is going to be a great primer. This is the Cali Ray, and to me, this one is a little bit more silicone based. This one is like almost a little bit more tacky. I feel like this one would be better if you do have oily skin or if you just want your makeup to last longer. I also wanted to mention the Drunk Elephant B Goldie Bright Drops and the Drunk Elephant B Bronzy Bronzing Drops. These are both intended to be added to your moisturizer and each of them is going to give you a little bit of a glow. The Bronzy Drops are going to give you a little bit of a glow plus a little bit of a bronze as well. So these are like a hand version of the Goldie Drops and the Goldie Drops are just going to give you that like beautiful glow. Kind of similar to MAC Strobe Cream. These are formulated with skincare ingredients as well, so they are great skincare products. They did just come out with a duo where you can get both of these in the full size for a much better price than if you were to buy them separately. So I actually do think that's a great value. I think the bronzy drops are going to be more for vacation and when I just want to emphasize my tan and also look a little glowy. So I can see myself using the bronzy drops mixed into a little bit of moisturizer by itself and then not wearing makeup over top. Whereas with the gold drops, I love to add these to my moisturizer and then apply my makeup over top just to give that glow from within look. Speaking of a glow, I also wanted to mention the Glow Screen by Super Goop. I have loved the Unseen Sunscreen for years now. It is just like the best sunscreen to wear every day. It's like a silicone base, very similar to those blurring primers that I shared earlier, except it's going to have SPF 40. So this is what it looks like, but they actually have a glow screen that is supposed to be a little bit illuminating, and I have a miniature of it. I cannot find mine right now. It must be upstairs with my travel stuff. I'm not sure, but it's really, really good. And I love wearing that with no other makeup to the beach or pool. And it just literally makes your skin look so glowy and healthy, but it's also giving it that protection that it needs. I also really wanted to mention the Sephora Favorites Summer Showstoppers Kit. This is an incredible value. You get so many good products in here, a lot of which I'm talking about today. And even the ones that I'm not talking about are great. I've heard 
amazing things about so many of them. So in here you are going to get the Isle of Paradise tanning drops, the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. It's actually the brow gel that I use today. You also get a Beauty Blender dual sided powder puff. You do get the Super Goop mini glow screen that I was just talking about. You get a Glossier mascara and a Sephora collection mascara. You get the Glow Recipe pore smooth blur drops, which I do have, and those are really great skincare based primer as well. It includes the House Labs hybrid lip oil tint. You get the K18 mini molecular repair hair oil, which I've heard amazing things about. And then you also get the Milk Makeup lip and cheek cream blush stick in the shade Work. That is just such a well-rounded Sephora favorite set. Those are products that have all went viral that people are loving lately. So I highly recommend that. I might pick it up myself just to try a couple of the products I haven't already. I also wanted to mention the House Labs foundation. This stuff is really, really good. This has been my go-to everyday foundation. I would say for me, it's a medium to full coverage. It definitely does provide full coverage, but on the spectrum of foundations, I would say this is a little less than some of the foundations I own. Today I'm wearing the NARS Soft Matte, which is one of my honorable mentions and a foundation that I have loved for years. And I would say this one is super, super full coverage. The House Labs is a full coverage, but I feel like it just has such a more natural finish that it ends up looking a little bit medium to full, which I think is great for summertime. Like this is what I'm going to be reaching for most days. It just looks like your skin. It doesn't look overly matte, but it also doesn't look overly glowy or dewy. It really is just like that perfect skin skin look. For brows, I just have one product I wanted to mention, and that is the Glossier Boy Brow. This is amazing for a tinted brow gel. For the longest time, I was using the Kosas one, but I find that the Kosas really dries up a lot quicker. I did love that one for so long, and I recommended it, but once I tried the Glossier, it's definitely my preferred tinted brow gel. I like to put this on either before I apply my brow pencil or in the summertime. Sometimes I will just do something glowy on my skin, put like a dab of concealer, and then just put this throughout my brows and I am good to go. It holds them in place, but it also gives them just a little bit of color and that fill-in that you need with them still looking very natural at the same time. As for eyeshadow, this is not super new, but I picked it up actually the last Sephora Savings event. I've been using it a ton ever since, and that is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. This is definitely a more cool tone palette than what I typically go for, but I have been really loving it. I pretty much do a very similar look every single day. I use it, I'll dab into this one, this one for a crease shade. If I want to go more pinky, I'll grab this one. And then I love this center shade. That is my favorite for the lid. I just find that there is so much versatility in this palette. Whether I want to go a little bit more pinky, I just want to do a cool tone smoky eye. Or I could even take it a little bit darker with the darker browns in the palette. So this has been a real favorite of mine. I love Natasha Denona. That is no secret. I feel like everyone does and it's for good reason because her shadows are un like any others. Another eyeshadow palette I wanted to mention is the Pat McGrath Miniature Eyeshadow Palette in Divine Bronze. If you are looking for a more warm tone eyeshadow palette, this one is perfect. I love this because it's literally four shadows. Yes, it's pricey for four shadows, but you are getting Pat McGrath quality, which is even better than Natasha Denona in my opinion. For me, this is the perfect palette because what I would do is just dive into this every single day for the crease. If I just want to do a very simple everyday eyeshadow look, I could literally just pop this on the lid and go. If I wanted to do a little bit more glam, I would do this in the crease, darken it up a little bit in the outer corner with this one, put this in the very inner corner, and then take this kind of in the middle of the eyelid, and you literally have such a great combination whether you want to do daytime or nighttime. This works for both. If you want to try Pat McGrath, but you're not really dedicated to picking out which of the huge Pat McGrath palettes you want and spending that kind of money, the quads are an incredible bang for your buck. Another product that has been around for a while and that I have talked about probably two years ago in my recommendations or favorites, this is the NARS Sunkiss Bronzing Cream in the shade Laguna and I recently kind of rediscovered this because I just did like a makeup reorganization and I was like, um, this is incredible. I love it. I remember loving it. Obviously mine is very well loved as you can tell, but this is amazing. First of all, it's a very cool tone bronzer, so keep that in mind like with your undertones 
tones, but it's what I have on today. You can kind of tell it is a little bit more cool toned. I just apply it with like a smaller brush and kind of go a little bit slow, but it's so pigmented. It is so easy to blend. I like this kind of product so much better than I like a stick that you draw on your face. Drawing it on my face makes me extremely nervous, especially over top of powders, because it's very easy for a product like that if it's not the perfect formula to pick up your other makeup that you've worked hard applying. But this applied with a brush literally just looks like airbrushed on contour. So now we're gonna dive into blush and it is a large category. First we're gonna start with the House Labs blushes and they were repackaged recently. I do have a very dramatic color here in the shade Dragon Fruit Days but this is beautiful. Like oh my goodness I love this shade. Perfect for summertime. I know this looks intimidating but it's really not because these blushes apply so flawlessly. As long as you dip your brush, tap it off a couple times, and then apply, it is just going to give you that insane pop of color. And I was someone who always steered clear of blushes like this. I did not want anything super bright. I still love a good natural blush for every day, but at the same time, we're in our blush era. Blush is so trendy right now, and if you are ever going to try a fun pop like this, now is the time to do so. This is another blush that I actually recently mentioned in a favorites video. I want to say back in January or February, but this is the blush I use every day. Down here in my studio is my full makeup collection, but upstairs I have a small bag that is kind of like my everyday makeup bag, and this has been in it for probably six months now or longer. So this is by Give Beauty, and it is the Feel and Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo, and it's in the shade Crush on You. So you basically have a more matte formula here, and then this one has a little bit of shimmer to it, but I love this color. I just feel like this is perfect on my skin tone, specifically brunettes. I feel like this is going to be gorgeous on you. And once again, this just glides over your cheeks. And I personally always mix them. You don't have to, but I always just dab into both of them. And it's like the perfect amount of sheen and color. Another recent purchase for me was a new Patrick Ta blush in the shade She's Blushing. I already had a couple of these, but I picked up this one that I used in my Alex Earl makeup video. And I fell in love with this shade. It's beautiful. So you have a cream blush here behind this little clear window and then just the matte blush here. But this is another shade that is just like the perfect everyday shade. It's a little bit more muted. It's great for all seasons, all skin tones, hair colors, all of it. So I love that and that's a great formula. He actually just recently released a couple new shades in that. So I'm gonna check out those. And then I have to mention the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blushes. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I just got these in a couple days ago. I'm sure you guys have heard of them and I really like them. I got four shades and to be honest, I might end up picking up the other two just to have the full collection, but these are beautiful. I knew I would like them because I love her highlighters and I just have been really into like a full like super glowy cheek. I will say though, I can absolutely see how if you do have trouble with like textured skin or acne, these are definitely going to highlight that. I'm not even gonna lie. I have pretty good skin right now. My skin is like fairly smooth and I feel like they look okay on me, but even still when I did apply, I had like a little tiny bit of lifting here at the center. You can't really tell from afar, but I don't know if you would be able to if I got up close, but I'm still loving them. I still think they're beautiful, and I think if you have a good base, your foundation smooth, you use a smoothing primer and all of that, I think these are probably going to be no problem for you. So this is the shade Hope that I applied first. Another thing that I'll say is I feel like the darker shades are going to emphasize texture a little bit more, so if you are worried about it, I would recommend getting one of the lighter shades. So I applied Hope at first, and then I went in with a lighter shade in the shade Cheer, and I actually liked this one a little bit better, so I popped this right on top, and it's so gorgeous. That's what makes me want to go back and get the other two lighter shades, because I didn't. I really went heavy in the deep shades. I actually think I'm gonna like the lighter ones more. They're so pretty. I don't have any highlighter on right now. This is just the blush, and this one was so pretty. I love Cheer. Get Cheer. I would say this one's going to end up being my favorite. I think this was Selena's shade, if I'm not mistaken. And I did get two more of them. This one is in the shade Truth. This one is a super deep shade. Look how gorgeous that is though. And this one is in the shade Love. So here are the swatches. You have Cheer, Hope, Love, and Truth. I also would recommend the Rare Beauty highlighters. These are my favorite highlighters on the market currently. They are still just so pretty. They're the best. This is in the shade Mesmerize. They are just truly the most silky smooth, gorgeous highlighters that there are. Like you can see, it just doesn't even look like it's sitting on top of your skin. It's just when it hits the light it just looks like so beautiful. I also have the shade Flaunt, which is a more gold. And then the one that I've used the 
most often is in the shade Exillary, and this one is just like your classic champagne. Looks great on anyone. I've really worn this one down, but it still works great. Another highlighter that I love, so random, but this is the Kaja Face Bento, and this one is in the shade number two, Cloud Latte. It actually comes with a blush, a highlighter, and a cream bronzer, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't really love the blush or the bronzer, so that's why I'm like kind of apprehensive to recommend it, but this highlighter, I literally use every single day. This is also in my everyday makeup bag. It just like provides the most natural looking glow. Anytime you just like randomly see me in like Instagram stories and stuff, nine times out of 10, the highlighter I have on is this one. And it just works great every time. It's not glittery, it's not chunky, it doesn't pull anything up, it's just perfect. And the bronzer is not bad at all. I just typically don't think about going in with it. The blush is not really my jam, but the other two, I definitely would recommend. As far as lip liners, I wanted to mention this Anastasia lip liner in the shade Deep Taupe. This one has been my go-to lately. It is just like a really nice everyday nude lip liner. Like nine times out of 10, if I'm down here in my studio, this is the lip liner I'm putting on. I just feel like it works with nudes. It works with pinks. It works with really anything. And it's just like the perfect shade. And Anastasia lip liners are some of my favorite. They are an actual wooden pencil. They sharpen up really nicely. They don't flake off. They don't run. They are perfect. They stay all day. And I actually recently have been using an Anastasia lip gloss that I love as well. It's like this beautiful amber shimmery sparkly lip gloss. I don't have it down here because I think it's in one of my handbags. But yeah, it is amazing as well. I'll put up a picture here and list the shade because that has been a great nude sparkly lip gloss to put over top of anything. I also wanted to mention the House Labs hybrid lip oils that I was talking about are included in the Summer Showstoppers kit. This one is in the shade Macaron and it's really nice. I think I mentioned this in a makeup haul video and I'm not gonna lie I was skeptical at first because I was like how is it a hybrid like it's either a lip oil or a lip gloss like I feel like that's just like a gimmicky name to get us to buy more products but I will say it really is like in between it has the pigment of like a traditional gloss and it's thick like a gloss but it has that oily kind of consistency to where it's not sticky at all and it really does just feel like you're wearing like skincare for your lips like it's very hydrating very soft and comfortable on your lips but it does provide the look of like an actual pigmented gloss. Also wanted to mention the Tower 28 Lip Softies. These are new. A lot of people are talking about them. I actually feel like the pigmentation on these is pretty good. This one is in the shade Dolce de Lici. But as you can see, like that's a pretty good amount of pigment, even for a nude lip balm. So I'm excited about this. I feel like this is going to be with me in my handbag, in my car, in my beach bag all the time. And then also for lips, I want to talk about my lip combination today because I'm using this for the first time. Not really the products, but the colors and oh my goodness I am obsessed I love this it's like the perfect peachy coral nude lip it's beautiful so this is actually a lip set that I got back around Christmas time from Pat McGrath but I do believe they sell all of these products individually so first we have the ultra lip pencil in the shade nude Venus Pat McGrath lip pencils are some of my favorites as well then we have the matte trans lipstick in nude Venus and once again it's like the perfect combination of a peachy lip but also nude it's not overly coral and then you have the lip gloss also in Nude Venus, which I will reapply. I have each of those products in different shades and all of them are great. She just makes amazing makeup. Another lip product I wanted to mention is the Fenty Skin Lip Mask. I wear this every night before bed. This thing is great. It just hydrates your lips so well. And I really like the packaging. You just kind of twist this up and the product comes out and you just swipe it off, put it on your lips, go to bed, and you will wake up with really soft feeling lips. Now let's get into skincare. Skincare is one of my favorite categories to talk about, especially recently. First, I want to talk about a brand as a whole, and that is Glow Recipe. You guys know I've loved Glow Recipe for so long. I buy so many of their products and recommend so many of their products, and I was super excited because they actually reached out and sent me some PR. It's always just great when a brand that you've loved for so long actually reaches out to you and wants to send you things. So a couple of the products that I always recommend and that I have used for so long. The first one is the avocado ceramide serum. This is going to be amazing for redness. It has a lot of other benefits, but redness is really going to be where this shines through. I've heard a lot of friends also say this really helped them with their redness too. I also like their dark spot serum. This is one that I purchased not too long ago. I've been using it for my dark spots. It's just supposed to brighten them up using vitamin C. A more recent purchase was the pomegranate peptide firming serum. Also a great one if you are just looking to improve the elasticity in your skin and really firm things up. And 
And then probably my most used Glow Recipe Serum as of recently has been the Plump Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which they did send me to restock. And I am so excited about that because I add this stuff to my moisturizer every night. Like I said, I have dry skin. So Hyaluronic Acid for me is essential and this works so well. I try to do it every night, but I can tell if I'm not on my skincare game and I'm not using my Hyaluronic Acid Serum, my skin will get so dry, specifically like around my nose or I'll get patches like on my cheeks. So that Plump Plump Serum is a must have. And they actually sent two new products for me to try. So you're getting like a little miniature haul. This one is the Watermelon Glow AHA Night Treatment. So this is supposed to be just great for glowy skin and also smoothing your skin. So it's going to help with texture, which I'm very excited about. And then we have the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops, which are a new product from them. And I think these might be similar to the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. I will have to try these out and let you guys know. Maybe I'll give an update in my Sephora haul video. But yeah, they do just look like the bronzy drops, but these actually look a lot more bronze. The next thing that I want to talk about is something that I've talked about so much now. And this is a combination from Ole Henriksen that I will absolutely be repurchasing during the sale. So it starts off with a moisturizer. This is the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This is incredible. I've never experienced a moisturizer like this one. Something about it is just like bouncy. I don't know how else to describe it. It just feels plush on your skin, but mega moisturizing and hydrating. If you live near a Sephora, see if you can go in and just get a sample of this because it really is just such a unique formula. It just feels like it instantly plumps up your skin. Like it just feels incredible. I've never had something that makes my skin instantly feel better like this product. And if my skin is really struggling and in a dry phase, I will actually add like half a dropper of this Hydra Barrier Nourishing Face Oil to the moisturizer. And that just gives it the extra kick of hydration that my skin needs. Truly, I don't think I've loved a combination this much in so long. You can see I'm almost out of the face oil. So I will be repurchasing this. And this is actually my second tub of the moisturizer and it is halfway gone as well. So I'll probably repurchase both of these during the sale. Speaking of dry skin, I also wanted to mention this, which I think I have talked about before, but this product, literally you guys, whenever I'm feeling dry patches around my nose or wherever you get dry patches, for me, even like around my nose, it'll almost start like cracking a little bit. And I always pull this product out. I use it two days in a row and literally the dry patches are gone. Nothing hydrates my skin like this product. It is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. This is my second jar of this. I also kind of want to do a full video on dry skin favorites. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But this is one of them that I swear by. If you have dry skin, this will do incredible things for you. You first go in with this gel side, put that all over your face, let it soak in, and then you go in with this moisturizer. Truly insane the difference that this makes. And it smells really great too. I love the Fresh Rose Hydration line. Another mask that I've been loving recently is actually by Fenty Skin. This is the Cookies and Clean Whipped Clay Detox Face Mask. And I really like this one because if you are wanting to do like a classic self-care night where you just have on a face mask, you let it sit for 30 minutes and then rinse it off and feel great. This is the mask for you. It's just like that traditional green looking clay mask that you kind of imagine when you want to have a spa night, but it does smell minty, which is kind of fun. It's a little bit cooling when you put it on. And I just really like the way that it feels on my skin, especially because of that whipped texture. It's just like rubbing a souffle, like right over top of your skin. It doesn't get super, super dry. You know, some of those masks that like get so dry, they feel like your face is about to like crack. This one doesn't do that, which I appreciate because I can't stand that feeling. Another one that I've been liking is this bouncy bright facial mask from Drunk Elephant. This says it's a mask, but it's kind of just like the last step in your skincare routine. So I just put this on right before I go to bed, only like once or twice a week and leave it, don't rinse it off. And it is supposed to be great for brightening your skin. It also has salicylic acid in it. So it's also good for acne control. But specifically, I just liked it for that brightening aspect. I feel like I can't get enough vitamin C in my skincare routine because I do have a lot of dark spots from the sun. This is another product that I've talked about a lot. It is the Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. This is just really great for like inflamed skin. Like when your skin is just kind of irritated, maybe you have some dry patches or maybe you just like have a lot of redness. This stuff is insane. I love it. I actually like it for my morning skincare routine. 
routine. I will like wake up, do my skincare, shake this up and put a couple pumps on my face. Usually I'll go make my coffee, chill out for like 20 minutes and then I'll come back and do my makeup. And by the time I come back, I swear my face just looks calmer. Specifically like my skin tone is evened and I just look nice and glowy and smooth. I don't know what it is, but they really hit it on the head with the name because it really is an instant glow serum and an instant beauty perfecter in my opinion. I mean, it's not gonna look like you have makeup on, of course, but it just looks like your skin is super healthy and just doing great things. Like you literally look like you have great skin. The next couple products I don't actually have because they are up in my shower, but the first one is the First Aid Beauty Body Scrub with AHA. Holy crap, you guys. I love this product. I always have. I just feel like this is a body scrub that actually has skincare ingredients in it like AHA, which for me really helps the overall effectiveness of the scrub. A regular scrub, I feel like just kind of gets off any dead skin or dry skin at the surface, but with the AHA component, I feel like over time it actually really does help with your skin's texture. So I have seen a huge difference when I use this body scrub on, like for me, the back of my arms, I have a lot of texture and I feel like this specific scrub is amazing for that. This is kind of weird, but another area that I use it on is like the like top of my pubic area, which sounds so weird. And obviously be careful, like I don't put it down any further like in my hoo-ha, but that skin like at the very top that can get a little bit irritated sometimes, whether you are waxing or shaving. We all know it's very sensitive skin down there and a lot of people struggle with like razor burn and ingrown hairs and things like that. And I have found that this scrub just a little bit every time I shower, just kind of like rub it in on the top there. Like I said, being careful not to get it any lower because obviously you don't want to have a reaction or anything. Although it's never bothered me at all, by the way. But anyways, that's what I do. And it has really helped that specific area be a lot smoother. It's helped with ingrown hairs, just overall like bumpy texture. So I love this product and I cannot recommend it enough for that reason. Next up, we have the Way St. Bart's Body Wash and Lotion Combo. So I actually had both of these last year and I used them up because it was all I used in the summertime. This is just the best summertime scent, you guys. Like if you want a good summertime scent that like in five years, if you smell it again, you're just going to be transported back to summer 2024. You've got to get this scent. Like that's what it reminds me of. It's just like a signature scent. It's beautiful and way body products are amazing. Their body wash is my favorite hands down. The scent stays on you for so long after the shower. I love it. It is just the perfect like beachy coconut sophisticated scent. It really is something that I think most people would like and the body cream is really hydrating. It's kind of a thicker body cream and it is going to just keep your legs and your skin looking phenomenal this summer. Another body cream that I wanted to mention is the Sol de Janeiro Delicia Drench Body Butter. I love all of the Sol de Janeiro products. Truly you cannot go wrong with any of them. This one is just the newest one to me so I thought I would mention it and I do have the matching body spray although I don't know where it's at right now. And this body cream is just like super thick. A lot of their other body creams are a little bit thinner, more watery, which I love those too. They're ultra hydrating and they feel amazing on the skin. But sometimes you just want something a little bit thicker that is really going to hydrate your skin deep down. It says it is going to relieve dry skin and repairs a moisture barrier. And you can see how thick it is. It's like the Dairy Queen blizzard test. Like this baby is not coming out. And this is just like such a sophisticated fruity floral scent, but it does have a touch of that like spicy, warm gourmand kind of fragrance family too. I really love it. I think that it's great and it's not overwhelming. I don't use it like every single day, but it's just one of those things that I pull out when I feel like my skin is extra dry because this is supposed to lock in moisture for 24 hours and it does have that hyaluronic acid in it. And it also says that it's supposed to reduce redness too. So that's kind of cool. I also wanted to mention that Elemis is now sold at Sephora. So if you have ever wanted to try Elemis products, now is the time to do so specifically the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm is an amazing product from them and arguably their most popular product. This is a newer jar that they sent me, but I've used multiple of these and they are so good at just removing your makeup seamlessly. So if you have never used a cleansing balm, it is going to just remove your makeup in the most gentle way. You basically just take a glob of this, put it on your face, add like just a little bit of water and it'll start literally just like melting away your makeup. It's so much better than a makeup wipe. It's really going to get in there and get everything. So now let's talk fragrance. And I'm really only going to mention one brand, but I am going to list some honorable 
will mention perfumes down below. But first I want to talk about these Fleur fragrance mists. I am obsessed specifically with the Mango Mood. I love this, you guys. Like, I don't know what some of the reviews are talking about, but this smells so good. It's so unique to my collection and that's why I love it. It's a fragrance mist, but I feel like it has the power of a perfume. For me, this lasts a really long time. It is just like the perfect combination of those spicy unisex gourmand scents, but like adding a dash of mango and bam, it's like the perfect scent for spring and summer. I have been wearing this nonstop. I've actually been keeping it upstairs in my bathroom and before I leave the house, I just kind of like douse myself in this. I just feel like this is such a unique one and I really like the packaging of these as well. This is the smaller size and then I actually picked up the larger size of the vanilla skin. I really think I only got the larger size because it's all that was in stock, but this is another one of their hair and body fragrance mists. I think they come in three scents. The only one I don't have is the Amber Haze and I might try to pick that up too because with as much as I like these, I'm sure I'll like the other one. This one I do like but it's not really unique in my opinion. I feel like I have something that smells just like this. I want to say it's the Skylar Vanilla Sky that smells almost identical to this. But yeah, I sprayed this on earlier. To me, this is just a classic vanilla. If you had that Bath and Body Works vanilla fragrance, I don't know what it was. Very, very old school. It was like a vanilla what was it? I gotta look it up. Oh my gosh, I think it's Vanilla Bean Noel for holiday from Bath and Body Works. For me, I feel like this smells very similar to that. It's kind of weird. So if you guys have this or you've smelled it, let me know if you agree because I don't know, I think it's very similar. And then I did want to mention the Fleur Missing Person perfume. This has been one of my favorites for a while now. So this is also in the warm and spicy fragrance family, but I would say this one is a little bit more subtle than your other warm and spicy scents. It actually says in the description, if nude were a perfume, this would be it. And I agree with that. This is like the perfume I go to when I'm really not sure what kind of mood I'm in. I just want something that I know I'm gonna like and it's kind of simple, but kind of unique at the same time. And I feel like this really does last on me a long time. It's just a classic and I feel like you can't go wrong with it. Fleur makes amazing fragrances. Actually, my husband just tried out the Fleur father figure. That one is incredible. It's so good for men. They actually have a travel size of it on Sephora. So if you wanna pick that up, as like an early Father's Day gift. You could totally do that. And to me, it's actually unisex. Like I smelled it and I was like, that's something I would wear as well. So now for a couple of hair products. The main thing that I wanted to talk about is the Shu Yumura Ubi Blonde Anti-Brass Purple Mask. I'm probably butchering the name of that, but I've been using this every time I wash my hair since I got it. And it is a game changer for lightening those brassy blonde pieces. So as you can see in my hair, I have a lot of blonde here in the front. But other than that, my hair is pretty dark. My natural hair color is almost like black brown. It's very, very, very dark. So as you can imagine, it is difficult to lighten my hair. And once I do, it can turn brassy very quickly. So I always have to have some sort of purple product in the shower to lighten these every week. It is super messy, but as you can see, it is just the most vibrant purple. And I will just take a glob of this, rub it between my fingers, apply it directly to these pieces here all over, like really saturate it and then I'll let it sit for like five to six minutes, usually just while I'm shaving or washing my body. By the time I rinse it out and get out of the shower, I have nice cool tone blonde pieces. So this is amazing. If you are like full all over blonde, I would be a little bit careful with it because it can temporarily dye your hair purple. So I would just kind of start slow, only leave it on for like a minute and then see how that works. And you can gradually increase if you need to. Another thing that I've been reunited with is the Shizu Propolis Infused Heat protecting spray. This is my favorite heat protecting spray, mostly because of the fragrance. Like this stuff is incredible. It smells so good. I feel like it leaves my hair smelling good for a long time. And of course, it's also going to protect your hair. So I just do a quick little spray of this right before I am about to curl my hair or straighten it or even blow dry it. It works great on dry or wet hair. I'm actually almost out of this. So this will probably be a repurchase for me. And then the only other thing that I was going to mention is the Dyson Air Wrap. Mine is upstairs because I use it every single time I get out of the shower and dry my hair. It is amazing. I love it. If you've ever wondered if it's worth it, it is. I just feel like you have a styling product and a blow dryer in one. That is the only blow dryer that I really use at this point. I use the round brush attachment the most. I use it a lot up here to just give me a lot of volume. And that's actually how I styled my hair today. I just kind of like rounded the edges out and just added a lot of volume. I threw a texture spray in it and bam, I was done. You also, of course, can use the curl 
curling attachments to get a nice, beautiful curly blowout. So it is so versatile. And during the savings event, it is a good time to pick it up because you are gonna save a nice chunk of money on it. So those are all of my recommendations other than my honorable mentions that will be linked in the description box. If there is something that you guys think I must try, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always, of course, looking for new suggestions. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you found it useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel if you are not already. Like I said, I will have a haul video coming very soon. So you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for that. Happy shopping. And hopefully I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.